What is up guys and welcome back to Jet School. So back during the beginning of COVID, I set my mind on designing a simple propeller aircraft that looked like a jet. So I chose the Long Easy, a single engine push-up plane with a canard. So I started designing in Adobe Illustrator and I followed some YouTube tutorials so that I can design and dimension the plane according to my liking. So things went smoothly for the first six months and then I was making the airplane on and off because I also had to focus on my academics. Then fast forward to December uh, 2021 and I almost finished the prototype and it was almost ready to fly. But you guys didn't see that because I did something very stupid. But long story short, basically what happened was I lost the footage and I wasn't able to give you guys any proper video to show or upload in YouTube. So I've got some pictures. So here, so this, this is what it looks like almost finished. So that's the first prototype. So you, you guys can find these on Instagram. I've uploaded these pictures at Jet School Official. So this is some video. So see how awesome the control surfaces move up and down. And overall the plane looked amazing. Just to see everything come together, just you know, months and months of hard work all come together was extremely satisfying. So this is what the plane looks like now. Looks pretty bad. Looks like it had a huge crash, but that's not the case. Basically the wing structure failed. As you can see, the whole wing has separated from the fuselage on both sides. And even the front part of the wing also. So this is the wing structure. As you can see, it has a Karoshi wing spar and a wooden spar that I added later on. So basically what happened is the uh, glue on the Karoshi wing spar failed and the top surface of the, um, the wing detached. So yeah, I think that was because of softening due to heat. So the glue basically started softening and it just separated over time. And also the wooden spar that I added didn't work as intended to. It's only, so the wooden spar only extends up to this portion of the wing. So I might have to end up extending it all the way up to here at least to get a bit more rigidity in the wing. And also because of the wing, uh, I guess the added weight of the winglet at the tip, it also provides more load to the root. So that's the wing. I might also try adding some different materials. I'm gonna try put some um, aluminum rods or aluminum tubes in between. You know, see if that helps. So you can see all these parts are also, you know, coming apart because of the wing separating. So uh, yeah, so this uh, wing tip was also separated. This is just because of mishandling, not because of any other problem. So. A simple glue will fix it. Now let's go to the bottom of the aircraft. As you can see I have to you know redesign this and make this a better wheel cover. Yeah so yeah I might also end up changing the wheels because this is very heavy and pretty plasticky so it doesn't really absorb most of the impacts on landing so I might add a different wheel. You can see it's all flimsy, I'll have to fix that as well. So at the front portion of the plane, I might add some canards, full working canards. So how I'm going to implement them, I haven't decided whether I'm going to use a two server mechanism or a single server mechanism, let's see. Yeah, so another issue that I have to fix is the nose landing gear. So basically the steering wheel, as you can see, it's in a neutral position, but my wheel is not. So even though I move the rod, the servo does not move. That's an issue with the attachment here. So I'm gonna, it's basically a hot glue, so I'm gonna make a fix here and see if that works. Suspension all works, should work. Yeah, suspension works. Yeah. So let's go inside. Um, let's see what's inside. So 
so inside not much has to be done i guess i might add a little more strengthening on the walls i also have to add a battery tray so that the battery doesn't move about while in flight nothing else inside that's basically the airplane yeah so quite a bit of work to be done let's try to get this plane flown as soon as possible